Might be traitors down here. to fulfill your destiny. It probably won't kill you in the process. So then we have a whole warehouse of you guys. Very pretty lighting. Love that. This excellent level design in this mod. This looks so good. Because with as primitive as Gamebryo's lighting engine is, when you get a good result like this, that just makes it all the more impressive. The light bouncing off the reflective metal surfaces, drawing your focus to the center of the room. All the corners, albeit dark, serve to enhance the center focus by providing a sharp contrast to the subject. Very pretty. Anyway, it was a stew. Well, I can drink out of it. We have established that. I think it doesn't give me a lethal dose of radiation. And, uh... Wait. Is this not where I'm supposed to be? Oh! Or, wait. I guess maybe my quest Move updated. Along, yeah, I'm... I'll, jerk. I'll let you get to work. Okay, I don't have a HUD. Sometimes I miss the quest update notification. Jeez. I mean, with all the fancy cutscenes and dialogue options, I thought there would have been one there. A bit of a heads up that I can move along. Mitchell, he sits on his ass while I do everything. The doc is probably dead. Mitchell. We have a huge problem. Really? Too many animals are flooding in from outside. I can't hold them off for much longer. We have only one option. Never really held them we off at all. We have to fire the Demos. It will kill everything down here outside of this room, so we'll be completely unharmed. Go talk to Dr. Matthews. There's something we need before we can set off the Demos. Seems a bit... the, the molecular destruction obliteration device seems a little excessive. Okay, Dr. Matthews. Not sure why you came to find me. Mitchell. He comes to tell me I need to talk somebody he's supposed to be guarding. Mitchell. The good doctor is all alone. Because Mitchell is kind of useless. <laughs> Matthew. Oh! How's it going, Doc? Yush. When White set off the Demos, it burned out the core, and, and we your need eyebrows. One. Luckily, there's an extra one outside in the storage building. Really? You'll need a level 4 security access keycard to get to it. Here, this will get you anywhere in the base and through all of the security barriers. Now hurry! We don't have much time. Get the spare core and bring it back to me. Really? I have to go back to the storage building? Who would have guessed? Not sure what you were hoping to accomplish. I guess they're disappearing because of the spawning system this mod is using. Like, these enemies are definitely... respawning, for sure. But I feel like they might have been a little too excessive with it. You could let a few corpses pile up. That would have been, wouldn't have been too much. No, I saw you. I know Mitchell ain't gonna do this job, and the doctor don't deserve half the crap he's getting, so I'm coming after you. Or maybe not. There's a quick little bug. Yep. <laughs> they found him. Alexander J. Blicky. Shame you had to stop making mods. I think you stopped making mods.
That's a problem. Can I solve this problem? Maybe. No. Hey! Why don't you come on over? Uh, this is uh, probably not the best place to stand. That'll uh, detonate eventually. There we go. Holy shit! Can you come over here? No? How much did you hit me for? That was not a lot, actually. <laughs> Only 30 damage. I see you're a paper tiger. These, I don't think, work in bats. No. Enjoy! <laughs> you can't even hold those in this one. Well, that was the last one, and it did the job. Gotcha. Does it work? Kinda wish there were more traitors. Well, that explains what was in here. Be a bad time for more death boss to show up. What's that death claw mother you think would be hinting? So, why do we do we just give up on the the decontamination thing? I guess maybe. Well, I don't need to use my map. I can just follow the sound of gunshots. Yeah. Mitchell, he managed to kill a single scorpion. Is the Doc unconscious? The Doc's actually still alive. Mitchell. There's no time to chat. There isn't? Uh, well, what am I doing again? I need to... Doc! My bad for thinking I needed to talk to Mitchell. What are you doing? You are... <laughs> You're very busy with something. You have the core? I'll put it into the demos. You need to go into the back room and flip all the switches so we can power up the device. Uh, is is this the back room? I assume this is the back room. I'm gonna save real quick in case I'm doing something that's going to kill all of us. So many buttons. Button, button. Who's got the button? Me. Are we ready? I'm ready to not be molecularly disassembled. We both have things we should be doing. We're all ready. All right. Here goes nothing. Protected entity internal moderation system activated. Is it getting bigger? My sterile worked, and we still have power, and we're now still the alive. Of the animals is gone. However, White's work here has already made its mark. The toxins are starting to seep in and destroy the facility. Right. We have only one choice: <gasps> tell him. Look, we know where you're from, or rather, when you're from. I noticed an odd power spike right before you showed up. Later, I found a picture of Sam Paxton. You're not Sam Paxton. I know you're from the future. I'm not sure how it happened, but it can only mean one thing. Clearly this bunker survives, and you could be sent back to help us. White's work has caused the atmosphere to enter the base, and it's slowly destroying everything. 
The demos can be saved, but only if a lockdown is initiated. You can initiate that lockdown, then escape back through the CMT to where you came from. It's the only way. Go to the security room, initiate a lockdown, then enter the CMT pod. I'll set everything up from here. Thank you for all of your help. Who knows what would have happened if you hadn't come back. Good yeah, luck. I just kind of I just kind of came down a sewer hole. Didn't expect to get wrapped up in all this to be honest. Quite strange. Okay, there we go. Well, alrighty then. Guess I'll just go back to the future. <laughs> References. And uh, this is the security room, I believe. Right? Security room? Yes. Initiate lockdown. New transfer profile. God, the file's already corrupted. I like how it, it covers its tracks, because Sam is a... a gender-neutral name. Age, sex, all those are corrupted. So it covers its tracks. Well, lockdown engage. Please slide security badge. <gasps> it's coming full circle. You slide the card through, it registers, but then jams in the place. You're forced to leave it stuck in the card reader. Good thing, because I would have forgot to do that, and then we would have had a time paradox. Gotta go back. In time to the future, gotta go back. Gotta go back, back, blow back. Also, are they just gonna starve to death in that that room? Not the greatest future. Gotta be honest. So, uh, how do I get back in time? Initiated there we go. The CMT. Thanks again, and uh, goodbye. Goodbye. I didn't need to stand in this the first time. This is kind of weird. Copyright strike for that. Oh, that was a quick and painless time travel experience. Like stepping out of an elevator. What did I... I just picked up something. What was it? Hey! Oh, I still have my reinforced radiation suit. And I'm naked! <laughs> Why am I naked? Nobody knows. Put on my future fashion now. You know, in hindsight, it's pretty obvious I was from the future. And I show up like this, like, who the hell? Oh, I'm just Sam. The Road Warrior Vault Specimen. Alright, well, I guess... Find out what happened to Lieutenant Mitchell and Dr. Matthews. Mitchell, he sacrificed me so that I could live. Although... Well, actually, he sacrificed himself for the sake of a big super weapon, which I don't really understand. Mitchell! He's a feral ghoul with no rules to play by anymore. Mitchell. <gasps> they, before they died, Mitchell got dressed in his Sunday best along with his buddy, Dr. Matthews, and Mitchell, the dead. To be expected. Or their separate answering machine message. Goodbye. To our friend. Things here didn't exactly work out like I hoped they would. It's been over a week. There are no radio signals, no outside sounds, nothing. Just silence. I could have told you Me that. and James are out of food and it, it doesn't look good. I'm trying to keep professional here with you, but I have a wife and a kid. I don't know what they'll do without me. I don't even know if they're still alive. I originally thought that you were sent back to ensure that the Demos was saved. But if nobody's left out there, it must have been an accident. 
you stumbled upon this place and were sent back by mistake. Mm -hmm. In that case, I've set the CMT up to fire again when someone next enters the room. I can only assume now that it will be you. You tried. Maybe next time, you'll have better luck. Unless Matthews was right, and you can't change the past. Goodbye, my friend. I'm not sure what the hell I was even doing, to be honest. <laughs> All for this, the Deimos. But for what? This giant Christmas ornament to the gods. Hey, you reached the Mitchells. We're not home right now, so please leave a message after the beep. Pierce, do I see the beep afterwards? Hey, sweetie, it's me. The machine picked up, so the house must be okay. I hope you and Ben are alright. I... I don't think that me and James are going to make it. Things got pretty complicated here in the bunker. Um, listen. I need you to do something for me. There is a small silver key in our bedroom safe. It unlocks the bottom drawer of my desk. That drawer contains the access codes to the Nevada 9 complex. Take them and memorize them. Teach them to Ben. Pass them down. Never forget them. It's imperative that you do this. The future of the Demos depends on it. I, I can't explain why, but I have a feeling that someday my friend is going to need them. I, um, I love you, honey. Goodbye. Wait a minute. Is that? <gasps> I. That guy, the cowboy man. He was a Mitchell, wasn't he? My god. We need to go talk to him. Also, what about the armory? Where was that again? I need to get something out of this too. I, I, I want to talk to his ancient descendant, but you know. I would like some loot, if you don't mind. Where the hell was that place? Here, I believe. Chang! And I can actually go inside now. Wonderful. I'll take some of those. Grenade launcher, I don't mind if I do. Sure, big super weapon, why not? A missile launcher. I'll send someone else to pick all this up. Is that another reinforced radiation suit? I don't think so. Actually, it was. It just... UI is glitched, I guess. It's a very powerful radiation suit. Power fist. Combat armor I can wear in honor of Mitchell. Oh, wow. I forgot. This uh, my leather harness, which is actually just uh, reinforced leather armor stat-wise, can fit over this, and it looks kind of cool. If I actually knew anything about modeling, I might actually make that armor, but anyway. Let's go talk to Cowboy Man. Well, I guess we'll just leave that big doomsday weapon down there. No need to get too fussy about it. Decontaminating and repressurizing. Please stand by. Da, 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 da. Hey, buddy! You finding anything down there? Johnny Cord. If you're not a Matthew, you're a Cord. Or a Mitchell, sorry. I found the Deimos. It's destroyed. Oh, it is destroyed. I, did, I didn't realize that. Well, now. That's a shame. At least somebody finally figured it out. Hmm. <laughs> I guess so. You seem rather amiable about the whole situation. Well, Johnny Cord. Johnny Cord. Oh, I don't think that name means anything. I have to go. Don't go hurting yourself now. Oh, I won't. I already got to saw see what the uh, health visual looked like. Well, viewer, that was Demos. Quite an enjoyable mod. Very... Not sure how the physics of this building make any sense, but, you know. Very nice, very fun. Uh, I don't know if I'll record anything else in the near future. Maybe I will, maybe I won't, but it was fun to do this again. 
And, uh, I'll see you guys. Shit. Fuck. Well, I guess I'll never see you guys if I die. Oh, fuck. That hurt. Yeah, you run away. Oh, bitch, who the hell even was that? Alright. 